Hi, I'm Angel. And I'm Naya. And, and this, this is, is EJ's Today. Today. Let's take a look at some events coming up this month. Eastside's 100th year celebration is happening this weekend starting on Friday, October 6th. Friday we will kick things off with our first ever home football game at 4 p.m. Our homecoming candidates will be presented at halftime of the game with a performance by the band after the game. Finally, there will be an alumni tailgate following the game. On Saturday, the celebration will continue with a parade on Douglas starting at 10 a.m. After the parade, there will be a block party on the front lawn at 11 o'clock, and the building will be open for tours and student performances. Be sure to check out all the festivities, Aces. Next week is parent-teacher conferences. It will be on October 10th, 11th, and the 12th. Conferences on Tuesdays and Wednesdays will be 3 to 7 and 8 to 3 on the 12th. That means no school for students on Thursday, October 12th. Wednesday, October 11th will be our testing day. This is a half day for the freshmen, seniors, and any juniors or sophomores who have registers for the PSAT. The end of the first quarter is Thursday, so there will be no school for students on Friday, October 13th. The future fair will be on Monday, October 17th. The cap and gown photos will be taken on Wednesday, October 18th for seniors. Finally, on October 24th, we'll do the fall dance from 8 to 11 at East. Now, let's get to our stories. Here's Nick with some information about the 100th year celebration. I'm Nick Cherry, and today I'm interviewing Principal Ms. Richardson about the 100 year celebration. The process of the 100 year celebration has taken um, about two, two and a half years working with several alumni groups. Uh, we've done a lot of planning, a lot of preparation. We've, we've polled uh, the students that currently attend East High about what they would like to have for the 100 years. Our students really, really wanted something on the East High campus to celebrate the 100 years. And to my knowledge, this will be the first varsity football game to ever be played um, on our campus. And I think that's going to be pretty exciting. We do have to have a 4 o'clock start since we don't have lights. Um, and we're bringing in some bleachers and all kinds of things, but uh, we, I'm excited to get to see um, not only our student athletes, but our student body um, celebrate their campus and their team and be proud. And we've got alumni cheerleaders coming back, alumni dancers, alumni band members, um, just kind of all taking part, not just the football team. And that's exciting. And so it's just been a lot of preparation and planning. Um, and it's been fun kind of generating excitement to celebrate the 100 years of the tower of uh, of us being Wichita High School East at the corner of Douglas and Grove. I think something interesting that I've learned about East High during this planning process has been that we have over 55,000 graduates that have graduated here um, from this building. And when we think of, you know, that sheer number of graduates, I mean, that's bigger, bigger than most uh, towns and cities in, which, in Kansas, and that's exciting. Uh, I love the kids here. This is why we do the work that we do. Um, and the fact that there's been over 55,000 students gone through this building is pretty amazing. I am most looking forward to uh, seeing our current kids interact with all of our alumni during the 100 year celebration. From anywhere from the um, football game, the first football game being played here, to uh, the alumni tailgate party, to the parade where we have current kids and alumni um, walking in the parade and doing different floats. And just seeing the um, past kind of mingle with the present and then also looking to the future of those future baby aces coming. Thanks for watching and back to our anchors. There were a lot of things happening this weekend to be celebrating our building. Be sure to join and be a part of this momental event. Now let's go with Maya with sports. Hi I'm Maya this is your sports <laughs> report. 
Thursday, October 5th, our soccer team will play West at 3.30 here at East. Also, on Thursday, our volleyball team has games at 5 o'clock at South High against Capon and South. On Friday, October 6th, our football team will have its first ever true home game against Emporia starting at 4 o'clock. This weekend, our girl tennis team will play in their regional competition, Good Luck Aces. And on Monday, October 9th, the girls golf team will also be competing in their regional event. Tuesday, October 10th, the soccer team will be competing against Casey Piper at East High starting at 3.30. And volleyball also has games on 10th starting at 5 o'clock at Heights. Finally, on Friday, October 13th, the football team will play North at Northwest High Stadium at 7 o'clock. This week, I did interview some of our football players and their coach about their upcoming home game. Let's take a look. What makes a player successful? Uh, following directions, hard work, dedication. What are some of the team's best traits? Speed, athletes. Um, we have the ability to put our athletes in space and win those one-on-one -on -one matchups. How do you feel about the upcoming game? I believe we should be able to win if we all play to our best abilities and eliminate the penalties. What would you like to be when you grow up? Well, currently I'm East High State wrestler and hopefully one day I'll be able to wrestle for the United States team. What are your plans after high school? At the high school, if I'm not able to go to college for wrestling, um, I don't know. I might go to a trade school. How do you feel about the upcoming game tonight? Um, I feel pretty confident. Um, we've had, we have had like a few kind of rough first weeks. Um, we had pretty good winning in Southeast. Uh, we went out there, did what we were supposed to, got the win. Um, and uh, really, it was just little mistakes that cost us our first couple games. But uh, we've been working really hard, and we've been trying to fix our mistakes. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty confident, and I'm excited for the game. Do you feel like the next games will be good or bad? Yeah, um, I think after, I mean, especially regardless of you know how we play this game, we got to keep moving forward. Uh, we still have about half the season left, and then we'll get into playoffs. Um, so you know, we just got to. We just got to keep pushing forward. We can't look at this week any different. We just got to, you know, keep going. I say, I want to win state this year, because like you know, uh, played football here for four years now, um, and yeah, I mean, we just we've come close, but we haven't made it to that final goal, and that's that's the goal this year. I mean, we really want to win state. Be sure to stay up to date on our football team and come out to the game on Friday to cheer them on. Good luck, Aces. Let's all cheer for our Aces Friday afternoon. Finally, here is Cyrus talking with some of our Aces about what they will be doing to celebrate on Saturday. Hey Blue Aces, Cyrus Morris here. Welcome back to another EHS Today. I'm so excited to tell you guys that we'll be celebrating the 100th year of the East High Tower. So I'll be interviewing some of the people to see what they're doing for the East High 100 celebration. Here with Emily McFall and she's part of the Trouble Choir here at East High School. So what is choir planning on doing for the 100th year? Choir is holding a concert where we are inviting alumni to come perform with us alumni from years and years back. A song that is a tradition here, He Never Failed Me Yet, and our old choir teacher before Miss Poto is gonna come conduct uh, for us. So it's gonna be a very good experience, I think. Wonderful. So you are also part of the cheer team. So is cheer gonna do a, some special dance for us? Yes, uh, we are doing a decades dance and we are inviting back alumni, cheer alumni, to come cheer with us for that dance. Uh, people from maybe a couple years back to all the way 50 year cheerleaders. So it's going to be super, just super fun and inclusive. I am here with LaSalle Godina, who's running for homecoming court of 2023. So what made you want to run for homecoming court? I just, you know, I always loved the Disney Channel, like Blossom Queen, Homecoming Queen kind of thing. And I was just like, I need to do that, you know. And so I walked in here with the president of East High and I said, I'm going to make history. Well, that is wonderful. And we hope that you do win Homecoming Queen. So do vote for LaSalle Godina for Homecoming Queen Court of 2023. 
I am here with Adam Stoltz, who plays on the football team and also running for 2023 Homecoming King. So what made you want to run for Homecoming King? Well, I mean, I wasn't really expecting it, um, but I got asked if I wanted to run, and I thought it'd be a really cool opportunity, especially because of all, like, the 100-year celebration stuff and whatnot. So I just thought it'd be a really cool experience to run. So those are one of the many things that you can expect here on the 100th year a celebration at East High School. I'm Cyrus Morris. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you then, Aces. That all sounds really interesting. Thanks, Cyrus. Well, that's all we have for now, Aces. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.